out of place is the Honorable Minister of the FCT, Chief Barrister Izenwo Inyesom Wike, C-O-N-G-S-S-R-S. A round of applause for the Honorable Minister. It may interest you to know that Abaje is the fifth flag of, of this event. Also here with us is the chairman of the House Committee of the FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters, the Honorable Dr. Fred Agbedi. Thank you very much sir, for being here with us. A round of applause for him. He has been very consistent in his attendance of all our events. Thank you, sir. Join me also in welcoming the House member representing Abuja South Federal Constituency, That is to be expected. He was the former chairman of Abajiria Council. Join me in welcoming the Honorable Abdurrahman Najia. Thank you, sir. We must, of course, not forget to recognize our host and chairman of Abajiria Council, the Honorable Abdullahi Umar Abubakar. Thank you very much. Mungode, Mungode. Honorable Ministers, I have always said that in events such as this, some applauses cannot be purchased. That was genuine. A round of applause for the Rear Council Chairman. Also here with us is the Chairman of Qualeria Council. He is, of course, the Chairman of FCT Algon. Honorable Dan Lady Chia. Thank you, sir. And with him is his counterpart from Gwagwalada Area Council, Honorable Abubakar Giri. Thank you very much. A round of applause for him as well. We must, of course, not forget to recognize the presence of the very distinguished Senator Philip Tanimu Aduda. who has led a very, very distinguished entourage of the Honorable Minister's close friends and associates. You are all welcome. It is an honor indeed to have you here with us this afternoon. With your kind permission, Honorable Minister, I'll also like to recognize the presence of the Secretary of Area Council Services Secretariat, the Honorable Beatrice Gariki. Thank you very much. And of course, our royal father and chairman of the FCT Council of Chiefs, His Royal Highness, the Honor of Abaji, Dr. Adamu Yunusa. Thank you very much. The head of the FCT bureaucracy is also here with us. We welcome him as well, Mr. Samuel Atang and all officials of the FCTA. Thank you all for being here with us. We also recognize the heads of the various security agencies of the FCT who are here gathered. We thank you all for being here with us. And finally, Honorable Minister, we recognize and acknowledge the very, very good and wonderful people of Abajiria Council who have been here all day waiting for this event. Thank you all of you, good people of Abaji. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I'm Gode. Thank you very, very much. And without wasting any more time, it is my honor and privilege to call on the chairman of Abaji Area Council, the Honorable Abdullahi Umar Aubakar, to kindly step forward and formally welcome us to this event. Your Excellency, 
The Honorable Minister FCT Barista Nancy Wiki. The Chairman House Committee FCT Axelari. Honorable the Honorable Member representing the good people of Abuja South, that is Abaji, Kuali, Gwagwalada, and Kuje Area Council, Honorable Abdrama Ajia, the Executive Chairman, Kuali Area Council, who doubled as the Algon Chairman, FCT. The Honorable Chairman, Guagualeta Area Council. Our own distinguished Senator, Philip Tanimo Aduda. The Katuka of Abaji. Distinguished friends of the Honorable Minister, FCT. Our Royal Father, the Chairman, FCT Council of Chiefs, Dr. Adamu Baba Inusa on the Mandate Secretary, Area Council Secretariat, the Director STDD, the most senior director of FCTA, Dr. Atan, All the security agency here present, headed by the Commissioner of Police, FCT. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I will not forget to recognize the good people of Abaji Area Council. Gentlemen of the press, good afternoon to you all. It is with great pleasure and excitement that I stand before you today as we gathered to flag off a significant initiative, the construction of five kilometer roads in Naharati and Guanhausawa community in Abaji Area Council. one of the gateways to the nation capital city. This project represents a key moment in our journey towards progress and development. Therefore, it is with vast pleasure and pride that I welcome you all on behalf of the good people of Abaji Area Council. The Naharati and Guahausa route was deliberate choosing because of the connectivity when completed, it will discongest, it will, it will decongest the bypass, improving access to market, school, healthcare facilities, and other essential services for rural communities. This road project will also facilitate the movement of goods and services, boosting economic growth and supporting agricultural activities. On this note, sir, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all stakeholders involved in making this project a reality, particularly our amiable minister, His Excellency, Paris Science Wiki, Mr. Project, and our mother, the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, who have stood by us to make this project a reality. I have no doubt in my mind that this perfect combination of the two ministers will spur us to greater in our various councils. Ladies and gentlemen, as our minister embarked on this journey of rural development, I call on all of us to remain united in our determination to see it through to completion. Let us embrace the opportunities that this rural infrastructure will bring, while also being mindful of the responsibility is entailed in terms of environmental sustainability. Your Excellency, 
Permit me to use this opportunity to give honor to which honor is due. I wish to respectfully acknowledge and express my sincere gratitude to the traditional ruler, especially the honor of Abaji, HRM, Dr. Adamu Babayinusa, Chairman, FCT Traditional Council of Chiefs, Distinguished Senator Philip Tenimo Aduda, for always being there for the people of FCT, community leaders, and most importantly, the residents who support the patient, who support and patients will be vital throughout the construction phase. Honorable Minister, sir, I can assure you that you are a source of inspiration, role model, and an image of the Renew Hope agenda of Mr. President, and by extension, to all the chairmen and the people of FCT. I salute your courage in this endeavor, sir. In conclusion, let today's flag of ceremony mark the beginning of a new chapter in our community's history, a chapter defined by progress, prosperity, and the collective pressure of a better future for generations to come. Thank you, and let us move forward and determination. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. The voice of a man well beloved by his people. At this point, Honorable Minister, it is my honor to call on Dr. Olusha Gwonlusa. He is the Oversighting Director of the Department of Satellite Towns Development, STDD, to kindly step forward to give us an overview of this project. Dr. Olusha. Thank you. The Honorable Minister of FCT, Chief Barrister, Ezen Wonye Sonwike, CON. The Chairman House Committee on FCT Auxiliary Matters, Honorable Fred Agbedi, Member representing Abuja South Federal Constituency, Honorable Abraman Ajia, <laughs> Distinguished Senator Philip Aduda, Most Senior Director FCTA and Head of FCT Bureaucracy, Mr. U.S. Atan. Secretary Area Council Service Secretary, Honorable Beatrice Gariki. The Chairman, the host, Chairman of Abadi Area Council, Honorable Abubaka Abdullahi. <laughs> Chairman FCT Algon, another Area Council Chairman here present. I will not forget to recognize our royal father, Honor of Abadi, Isuria Anes Alaji Adamun Baba Yinusa. And other royal fathers here present. Members of the ministers' entourage, distinguished legislators and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a privilege for us to be here once again in continuation of the construction of rural roads in the FCT satellite towns and area councils of the FCT. The only minister of FCT, Barista Ezen Wonyez on Wiki, CON, and the only minister of state. For FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, I flag off the construction of four rural roads in the FCT. This includes 11 kilometer Yangoji Suskuk Ebo Road in Kualira Council, five kilometer, kilometer dual carriageway from Tipa Gara Junction to LA Sectorial in Kujeria Council, in addition to nine kilometer within Gwagwalada Area Council and 7.2 kilometer in Buari Area Council. The constructions are in line with the Renew Hope agenda of Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces, President Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR. Today is the flag off of construction of a five-kilometer Narati River, River Ukua Angua, Ausara Road, three span br river bridge in Abaji area. Scope of works consists of construction of five-kilometer asphaltic concrete finished road on eight-meter eight carriageway, which includes site clearance and networks, 
reinforced concrete pipe and bus covers of various sizes, reinforced concrete transporter and U-channel line drains, 150 millimeter thick crushed stones base cross, 50 millimeter asphaltic wearing cross, three span bridge, stone pitching, concrete scape stones and shoots, line surface drain making, marking. The, con the contractor has moved to the site and already he has completed the five kilometer route survey, geophysical oil investigation at the bridge location and ongoing of site clearance and topsoil in this, uh, on this road. Ladies and gentlemen, the construction of this road will open up several rural communities and improve economic activities, security along the road corridor. We assure the Honourable Minister that STDD will do our best to see to the thorough supervision and complete the, the uh, delivery of this project on time. Thank you all and bless you. Thank you very, very much. That was Dr. Lucia Olusa, who has just given us an overview of the project. At this point, it is my honor to call on engineer Anthony Elhuri. He is a project manager of Craneball Construction and Drill Limited, the contracting firm for this road, to please step forward to give us the contractor's commitment for result. Engineer Elhuri, a round of applause for him. Good afternoon, everyone. His, Alex, uh, His Excellency, Honorable Minister Niemsen uh, Wiki, the Chief Barrister, the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, all other protocols duly observed. Kremberg Construction Company Limited would like to express its sincere gratitude to His Excellency, the Honorable Minister of FCT, for the confidence in us in awarding our company the contract for the construction of the Abaji project, which is being flagged off today. As is our usual practice, we shall work with all stakeholders and will be counting on your full support to enable us to, de to deliver this project on budget and on time. Once again, thank you, Your, Alex Your Excellency, for the opportunity to be of service. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you very much, Engineer Anthony Ehuri. Engineers are known for very, very few words, but lots of action. At this point, Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking our goodwill messages. And it is my honor and privilege at this point to call on His Royal Highness, the Honor of Abaji, Dr. Adamu Baba Yunisa, to please step forward. A round of applause for His Royal Highness. I will be live, Minister Shaitani Rajim. Bismillah, Rahman Rajim. The Honorable Minister of FCT, my governor, our father, we are highly welcome to Abaji. That's okay. We are very grateful. May Allah reward you. You have done a lot to the people of the city, and only God that will reward you. The, my brother, Senator Plip Aduda, actually, we have been helping our minister working together. We pray to all matter, like you continue good, good work that you are doing. We appreciate, and only God that will reward you. We are welcome. Allah ibn Kalibarka. The chairman committee, House, House Committee on Area Council. My big brother, the executive secretary, Area Council Service Secretariat. We are welcome. We are working together with you. Actually, we have a good choice. Allah will be with you. My honorable chairman, Abaj Area Council. As a matter of fact, we believe that the child that washes his hand very well will eat to another person. 
So, Chairman, we appreciate what you are doing, and it's only God that will reward you. All the people of Abadja are praising you. You continue good work that you are doing. Honorable Chairman, please, this is my brother is working for us. So, you bless him, and please, anytime you have a problem, please have a listening ear to him. Thank you very much. Um, the most senior director, Atta, we are a native of Abadji, we have worked for us, and we know what we can do. So continue working for the people of Abadji and FCT. In general, we are hardly welcome. The chairman, Kwali Area Council, and the other chairman, we are welcome. Thank you. And uh, the chairman of Wagwalada Area Council, we are hardly welcome. Chairman of the General Council, you know that we are the national chairman of Lagon, the, the national chairman. We appreciate and we pray to Almighty Allah to guard and protect you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The, the security agencies here present started from the Igwe. Igwe has been doing well to the people of FCT. And we pray to Almighty Allah that will guard and protect you. Actually, since you have been to this place, there are changes in all areas of security. Allah will be with you. And uh, the director of security, we are hardly welcome. Although my honorable chairman has all the due process. So the, with, this, uh, with this, I will continue with where I will start. The Sugwish ladies and gentlemen, president of Babaji and Abaji people, good afternoon. We thank to Almighty Allah for sparing our life to gather here today for the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of five millimeter in our community. On behalf of the Abaji Traditional Council and the good people of Abaji, I want to welcome Mr. Project. Honorable Minister Yasun Wiki, CON, and the Honorable Minister of State, Maria Mahmoud, we are highly welcome. Even though she's not here, she has been doing her best to make sure that there's peace and all that thing. They work hand in hand with the Honorable Minister of the FCT. So we thank, we thank you very much. The approval for the construction of the five kilometer each for the F FCT Area Council did not come to us as a surprise. Knowing fully of your track record in the area of infrastructure development, your Excellency, we are grateful for this wonderful gesture and pray to our God to give you more wisdom, vision, courage, and strength to continue to pilot the affair of the SDT to the great high. Honorable Minister Sir, permit me to express my sincere gratitude to the Chairman Abaji Area Council for his commitment, dedication, and above all, his hearing, his listening ear. He have a listening ear to all the individuals. If you have a problem, he will listen to you. You have a good leader. Allah will guide you. To all the matter affected the residents of Abadji and FCT in general. Uh, Honorable Minister, our Honorable Minister, our Honorable Chairman, is National Algo of the National Algo. So actually, he's doing his best. People praise him, and God will continue to guard him. On behalf of FCT Council of Chief and the entire people of FCT, I want to ensure you of our commitment, the Honorable Minister, for support and prayer. We'll support you and we'll pray for you. For all what you are doing, God will guard you, and God will be your guardians throughout your tenure. And by the grace of God, Scar shall be your starting point. You are not going to stop where you are. You proceed. We we'll pray for you. We we'll bless you. Because actually we we'll see what we are doing. And that Allah is with you. So we are highly welcome to Abad Area Council. I wish you all the best. And pray to Almighty God to see you through. And back to destinations safely. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Another round of applause for the honor of Abaji. He has spoken indeed like the true father of the people. Honorable Minister, sir, with your kind permission, I'd like to call on the Honorable Abdurrahman Ajia, member representing Abuja South in the National Assembly, to kindly step forward to give us his goodwill message. Your Excellency, Chief Barista in Suyuki, CON, the Minister of FCT, the Chairman, Committee on FCT and Auxiliary Matters, Mr. Frederick Agwede. Distinguished Senator Philip Tenimo Aduda and other distinguished senators here and member of House of Representatives here present. The chairman of Abaji Area Council. The chairman of Kuali Area Council. The chairman of Guagualada Area Council, the most senior director in the FCT, Mr. U.S. Satan, and other directors here, the mandate secretary, Area Council Service Secretariat, our royal father, the owner of Abaji, the head of security agencies here, Religious leaders, member of the press, ladies and gentlemen, may the peace and blessing of God be upon all of us. Today is yet another day in the history of FCT, particularly today in Abaji. I, on behalf of the entire people of Abuja South, particularly Abaji Area Council, I want to appreciate Mr. President, Mr. Ahmed Bola Tinibu, for fulfilling his electionary uh, promises through our amiable, capable Minister, Dr. Um, uh, Barista Nisu Wiki. And I equally want to appreciate our Minister of State because we've been able to achieve this because of the support she has been given to our Honorable Minister. We pray to the Almighty God to continue to give them the wisdom to pilot the affair of FCT. Mr. Minister, today I will continue to repeat my praise for you. I'm not praising you because I decide to praise you for nothing. But I'm praising you because everybody, even your enemies, knows that you are working in FCT. And your style of leadership involving the National Assembly in most of your activities will go a long way for us to always speak for you where you are not there. I will continue to assure you that they say one good turn deserves the other. We will continue to tell people 
at the National Assembly of all your developmental projects. And the support that is required from us we will continue to give it to you. Mr. Minister, Abaji is the Abaji city is the only city in FCT before, before now. But today, because of the proximity of other area council to the federal capital, they are about taking that title of city from us. But I know that our minister will not allow that to happen. You have come to rescue us. And one of the ways we are expecting you to rescue us is bringing developmental project to Abaji Area Council. One among them, which is the Abuja University of Technology, Abaji. Mr. Minister, I challenge some people. They said, Minister, Minister said, the University of uh, uh, Abuja University of Technology is a glorified secondary school. He is a minister that will always say things how they are, whether you like it or not. And I told them that that statement should be a statement of encouragement because he is telling us indirectly that he is going to give us a befitting university that will compete with any other university in the, in the whole world. Mr. Minister, we are praying and praying and praying that during your tenure, this university will be commissioned by the special grace of God. Commissioning this university will help us to redeem that our name, Abaji City, because of the developmental and other achievement that will accompany the establishment of that university. Mr. Minister, today this road you are commissioning is very, very strategic. I remember while I was the chairman, this area you are seeing, they were the most hit with kidnapping activities. And one of the challenges is access road. Today, you have come, you have come to flag up this road, and completion of this road will help the security agencies to patrol this area without any hinges like we do before. And I want to assure you that the people of Abaji will take ownership of this project when completed. Mr. Minister and the entire people of Abaji Area Council, sincerely we want to appreciate you. You have come in your numbers, regardless of party, regardless of religion, because of this wonderful achievement the minister has brought to us. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Gordy. I'm Gordy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's all right. That's all right. Honorable Ajia was the former chairman of Abaje Area Council. So we'll understand the enthusiasm from his people. At this point, Honorable Minister, permit me to call on the Chairman, House Committee on FCT Area Councils and Ancillary Matters, the Honorable Dr. Fred Agbedi, to please step forward to give us his goodwill message. A round of applause for Dr. Agbedi. Your Excellency, the Union Welly of FCT, 
Chief Barrister Yunson Wike, CON, the globally certified Mr. Project and Honorable Minister of FCT, my colleague and member of the committee, Honorable Ajia, my leaders of both the Senate and House of Representatives, non-serving, according to my governor, non-serving. Other leaders who are here, His Majesty, the security agencies, uh, Chairman, our host, and his colleague chairman who are here, our security agencies, great people of Abaji local government, I greet you. Uh, again, is another milestone. Standing on the mandate of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Dr. Tajuddin Abbas, who mandated this committee to render parliamentary service to the area councils. We are here because for once, Mr. President appointed a minister that fits the development of FCT and the area councils. And I want to assure you that both the leadership and the entire National Assembly is very happy, satisfied, and confident that we have a man to work with to change the number one city of Nigeria. FCT Abuja is the number one city of Nigeria. Wherever that you come from to Nigeria, the city you need to see that will present the image and represent the image of Nigeria is the FCT Abuja. And Mr. Project was well appointed to come and ensure that this face is further painted to fit any global city. And so we want to appreciate Mr. President for giving one of our own tested, capable, certified to carry out this responsibility. Our people of Abaji local government, for those of us who have been traveling this route since 1989, we know what Abaji used to be. And you have a man who has come to add to the value of Abaji. I want to urge you, I want to urge you that Mr. Speaker and the House will work with him and the Minister of State to carry out our oversight functions and ensure that you have a better living. The people of Abaji local government, you have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to own all the projects coming to this local government. It is also to support the Minister and the Minister of State in ensuring that they deliver the dividends of democracy to Abaji local government. And to the contractor, I want to charge you that the Minister expects you to do a good job. A job that will stand the test of time and a job that he will be proud of that the Minister gave you a job to further develop Abaji local government. And so he expects that you are going to do a good job. For us, from the House of Representatives and the committee, we will come on our usual oversight functions and ensure that we complement the efforts of the Minister and the Minister of State to deliver dividends of democracy as a government to you. So please, I want to congratulate Abaji local government. I want to congratulate the chairman. I want to congratulate the minister and the Minister of State for bringing development to our people. Work with him. We shall also work hand, hand in glove with him to ensure that you enjoy the benefits of government. Thank you and God bless all of us. Thank you very, very much. A round of applause for Honorable Dr. Fred Agwede. Thank you, sir. 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Royal Highness, we are now at the high point of this afternoon's event. And join me in welcoming the Honorable Minister, Federal Capital Territory, Chief Barrister Ezenwo Yeson Wiki, CON, to please step forward and give us his remarks and proceed to flag off this project. The chairman has committee area councils and ancillary matters. My dear brother, Dr. Fred Abadi. The man representing Abuja South. Our dear chairman of Abaji Area Council and your brothers from Kwale and Wagolada who have come here to give you support. Our distinguished Senator Philip Adedua, who has been very supportive of what we are doing. Distinguished Senators and members of the House of Representatives that are here, the most Senior Director of the FCT, the traditional rulers, particularly the honor of Abaji. The Director of STDD, the heads of security agencies that are here, led by the Commission of Police, our dear people of Abaji, the management and staff of Kreban, my dear sisters and brothers, I greet all of you. Are you happy? Are you sure you are happy? Thank you. I'm sure one of the things, if I guess well, one of the things that's making you happy is that the Redeed Hope agenda of Mr. President is fulfilling the electoral promises. Is that not correct? What is important in life is that people have lost hope and somebody comes to say, look, you don't need to lose hope. I'm coming to let you still have that hope that you have opportunity to get the things you did not get before. And that is what Mr. President has mandated the Minister of State and my humble self, who are in charge of their city, to see that we we'll go to the area councils and let them have the impact of his government. We have talked about insecurity. We've talked about food security. If you don't have good roads, can you fight insecurity? So one of the ways to fight insecurity is to provide good roads so our security agencies will have access to go and deal with those people who say they are criminals. If you don't have good road, can you go to the farm? 
So provision of good road will help to improve our food uh, security. When we fight the bandits, our fathers, our mothers will be able to go to the farm. When good road is provided, our farmers will go to the farm and bring what they have produced. And that is what directive Mr. President has given to us that development should not only be concentrated in the city. One of the reasons why people leave the rural area to the city is because they don't have the basic infrastructure. And when you provide the basic infrastructure like roads, nobody will be willing to go to the city. And that is what we are doing here today. And when I came here last time, I did say that when I came into office, I called all the area council chairmen, irrespective of political party they belong to, that your services is to the people. Insecurity does not know who belongs to any party. Hardship. Hardship does not know who belongs to any party. Therefore, you owe the people a duty that you provide good governance. And good governance has to do with making them have positive impact in what you are doing in your various areas. And they all agree with us that they are all going to work together with this administration to make sure that our people do not lose out. And I want to commend all the area council chairmen for that, not saying that I belong to social party, therefore, I'm not going to support. If you don't support, who will suffer? It's not our people. So I told them that Mr. President has directed that each of them should nominate one important, one key road in their various area councils that must be started and finished this year. All these projects were flagging up. No one will get to next year. Oh, we'll be finished this year. Because we must have to let the people have that confidence in government. If people do not have confidence in government, it's a problem. When government makes promise to the people and government fulfills that promise, then the people will be happy with the government. So be assured that these six roads in the six area councils, which tomorrow will be the last one in Amak, will all be completed. And again, to still tell you that all this we are doing has to do with 2023 budget. As I speak to you, yesterday we met and we have looked at the roads, the area council and the traditional rulers have mentioned to us, it's okay. We must take at least the most important ones to them and make sure that when we go for our budget, in the next one week or two, as God may have it, that the chairman of the FCT area council and the representative will, of course, give us the necessary support so that we'll come back here and flag up the new roads again that have been approved for the people of the area council. So, it is, it is here, it is what you should have. It is your right. It is your right. We are not doing it that we are helping you know. Mr. President came to you and told you to give him the mantle of leadership of the country. And if he's given that mandate, he's going to touch your lives. And now you have done your own part by giving him your mandate. He is now doing his own part to fulfilling the promises he has made to the people. Let me say this. 
And let me appeal to all of us. Yes, I know that we have suffered quite a lot in the past. Is that correct? So, you see that you want things to change immediately. Is not true? I want to appeal to you to be patient. I want to appeal to you to be patient. You see, I would never associate myself, identify myself with anything that will not work. If I tell you that things will turn around positively, be assured that it will turn around positively. Because for me, decision taken by Mr. President, yes, may not have materialized as quickly as you want it. But what is important is at the end of the day, will it be fruitful to us? Yes. Are we going to enjoy it? Yes. If you are impatient, you are right to be impatient. If you are impatient, you are right. But it is also in our own position to beg you to say, just be calm. Just be calm. You will repeat. After all, after all, you have been here for long. Nobody has come to flag off road. Is it not true? Have you not lost hope? Have you not lost hope before? Now we have come. We are flagging up road. Is hope not coming back? As he depend them, or more he did sweet us. As he did sweet us, he depend them. As he depend them, or more he did sweet us. As he did sweet us, he depend them. He depend them, or more he did sweet us. I know what you want, don't worry. At the appropriate time, at the appropriate time, we'll all be happy and smile. Let me make one correction. The House representative said that people said the University of Abuja is a glorified university. I didn't say so. I did not say so. What I said was this. When the chairman requested for the university to be open this September, listen to what I said. Hear me well. Are you ready to hear me well? When the chairman of Abaji requested that the university should open this September, I said, look, Anything worth doing is worth doing well. But I would prefer to make this university one of the best and not to rush. Isn't that what I said? So, so I cannot call the university a glorified university because the university is not yet there. So you can't call something glorified when the thing has not started. So those who don't know should know that the university is the baby of the F city. And I will feel honored that the president of Nigeria gave me the opportunity to serve as the F city minister. And that it will be my joy that it was in my time when I'm serving as F city minister that this university is open and, and everybody will be happy that yes, this is what university is supposed to be. So I just wanted to correct the impression that people are saying that I said it is a glorified uh, university. That's not correct. So I thank all of you. And let me commend the chairman of Abaji. Let me commend him because this is the second time I have come since I was appointed FCT minister. And each time we have interacted, each time I'm with your people, you will see the joy in their faces. I want you to keep it up and continue to do the right thing when you connect with your people, you will be happy any day 
anytime. That is the essence of governance. That's the essence of leadership. And I'm sure your colleagues too are doing the same thing because the past four local governments have gone. That is also the same reception I have seen has been given to them. Our traditional rulers, let me sincerely thank you for your support, the way you synergize with the council chairman. That is the way it's supposed to be, so that we can fight insecurity to the last. Like you said, you can see the difference in terms of what we are doing now against the fight in security. Security has quite improved more than what it used to be in the last few weeks or months. And I can assure you, with the heads of security agencies, we will do more to see that these people would know that we are here. You know, if people don't, if you don't tell people you are there, nobody will know you are there. Did you understand me? These criminals will know that we are here and will teach them a lesson. We will teach them a, a lesson. I've always said that yes, every day is for the chief man, one day is for the owner. You have seen how the security agencies have been dealing with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to commend them and assure them that we are going to back you totally what is required. Let me also inform the contractor that please, this job is another way of creating job for our people. Some of our youths may not be engaged in any meaningful activity. But now that this job is coming on board, make sure our youths are employed. Make sure our youths are given the opportunity to supply one thing or the other. In that way, they will put food in the table of their families. They'll be able to pay their children's school fees. And I can assure you, this job is not going to be like any other job where you say that you will abandon. No. Your money is ready to be paid to you. I have told the director STDD, if I'm my problem now, and I've told the Mosino director yesterday, when we were in the budget meeting, I said, Lou, who on to that director? Who will keep the file I have approved for weeks in his or her table? Who will be on to you? Because you're a saboteur to the progress of the people. So when I approve a file, make sure that file is moved to the next stage so that the job can move on. I don't want people keeping files just for the purpose that, oh, we want to do the thorough thing. You can do your job within one minute to be thorough. You don't need to take 20 days for you to do a thorough job. It's your commitment. So please, the contractors too are human beings. They also engage with banks. So when the money is not paid to them on time, they incur expenses and they write back to us that they need variation, even though they know variation is not in my dictionary. They don't know it now. There's no variation in FCT's uh, dictionary when it concerns contract. Because we'll do our part to pay you as at when uh, due. So please, I need the support of the bureaucracy so that the people, our people, the Abaji people, will enjoy the dividend of uh, democracy. On this note, let me therefore invite our leaders, the chairman of House Committee on Area Councils, the chairman and his colleagues from the sister local government and the traditional ruler, and the senators and House of Remember who are here, and House of Security to join us as a flag of this project. Thank you, and God bless you.
This is Channel's television. 